that today we have just taken receipt of this big massive box which Ella is very excited about, aren't you Ella? Casper Mattress got in touch with me and asked me if we would be interested in reviewing one of their mattresses which obviously I would say yes because I love my sleep, not that I get much of it. But yeah, I'm going to review this over the weekend so you guys can actually get a feel and a feel of how it feels over the weekend and I'll tell you every day how I prefer this one if I do to my current mattress. Hello! <laughs> so we are going to unbox this and drag it upstairs. I'm going to probably have to pin Charlie down to get upstairs. I'm going to switch over. We never made our bed this morning, which isn't like us, because we knew this was coming. I actually ordered this just a day ago, and it arrived this morning. How amazing is that for delivery service? But yeah, I'm a bit concerned because the box looks really small. So I'm hoping that it's the right size of sent me because we have a king size bed. The one I'm excited about is because Casper Mattresses did so many good reviews. I was online looking at their website and they've had a Witch Best Buy award for mattresses this year in January. They've also got a Good Housekeeping award. Oh my goodness, what a feral child. <laughs> Are you trying to open it with your teeth? Yeah. That will not work. And there's over a million people that now have this mattress. You guys have also got a discount for all my subscribers, which is in the description box, which will get you money off this. I'll just leave a little link to it. And yeah, let's get this upstairs and into the bedroom. Ella, you can't open it with your teeth. It just won't happen. <laughs> Ella, what do you think about the mattress? <laughs> it's got ultimate jumpability. And what else? <laughs> Is it nice and soft? Oh, I'm going to go boy, probably sleep. Boy, boy, boy. I, I'm like a monkey. It's, I, it's like a pilot monkey. One, yeah. Oh, I am warm after taking that other mattress out and putting this one in. This one's light, the other one was so heavy. Ella, what is mummy? Mummy is a... Strong woman. Strong woman! <laughs> so guys, I thought I would just give you my first impressions of the mattress. I've just opened it up and there's this little leaflet inside it. And it's just like notes and things that you need to know about it. But there's some important info in there that I think I should just share with you. So it's sprung and it's also memory foam. So you've got kind of the best of both there. I used to have a memory foam only mattress and I didn't like it. I just felt as if it was like really hard to get off of again. But this has got both of them. And not only that, but you can use it on any kind of bed, like a base, like a flat base, a divan, slats, whatever. You can use it in any kind of base. And one thing I was really worried about because it happened on the last mattress is stains with fake tan. So if you want to clean off any stains, you just get this big massive zip all around the side of it. You just zip it off and put it in the wash. Really easy to clean, which is good. And not only that, but I'm looking at the back of this here and it says there is a 100 night guarantee free pickup to return it. So if you buy it and you don't like it, after 100 nights they will take it back. So they're obviously very very confident that everyone's going to love this mattress. I love when you get a money back guarantee. It's always the best, isn't it? it means you can try things fuss free and then know that you're not wasting your money if you don't like it. Stay tuned for tomorrow to find out our full review of a night's sleep. Mwah. But for now, back to jumping. <laughs> 
So there's been a bit of a break in our filming today because it's been hectic. I don't know if I told you guys um, earlier on in this vlog, but yesterday, unfortunately, we were in a bit of a car accident. I don't really want to go into too much details because obviously it'll be going through our insurance and stuff, but the kids and I were coming home from an event yesterday and unfortunately someone crashed into our car. Thankfully, we weren't at fault. Go me, good driver. But um, yeah, there's kind of a lot going on, so I don't want to say too much, but the kids are fine. I'm fine. There's not much damage. It's not too bad. It really could have been a hell of a lot worse. But yeah, we are all okay. But we are just in the car just now because we're going to go to my friend Melissa's engagement party. You guys probably seen her in my vlog last weekend where we went for a facial and stuff. Or was that the weekend before? Can't remember. It was really good though. But Melissa and I have been friends since we were about five, so like, 20 years how much is that 20 years of friendship but she's getting engaged to her baby daddy so we are going to the party my mom and dad are already there getting us a seat and ella is sitting in the back just now watching something on dad's phone sure you are what are you watching um the wee baby sleeping the wee baby sleeping wonderful what? show me on that <laughs> So tonight, as you can see, I'm wearing blush pink, shocker. I've also got a spare bubble here in case Ella needs it. So I don't know if I'm going to drink tonight or not. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to have a little glass of wine. But yeah, looking forward to going and seeing everybody. I also went and got my eyelashes topped up tonight, which look really good for the party. And yeah, Chris has just come just now. He just got fuel and we're ready to go. Good morning guys, we are getting ready for a little road trip this morning because it's so lovely and frosty just now. We thought we would head further north of Scotland and go to Glencoe, which is about two hours, maybe two and a half hours drive from where we are. So it's just a nice time to go because it feels very Christmassy, but it's not frosty enough yet where it could be really dangerous to drive there. So we're going to head with the kids. I've got Charlie a snowsuit. Ella is all wrapped up with her wintry warms on. And we've got bags packed with like snacks and goodies and different bits. So Fraser's just getting the car sorted, blowing up tires, making sure we're all safe to go. And then Charlie's going to wake up from his nap and we're going to head there. So I'm really looking forward to it. My Fraser. Hey. My Yeah, it's better. Mommy fix it. Are you, are you excited to go to Glencoe? Hmm. What are we going to see there? What are we going to see at Glencoe? What are we going to see? Yeah. What will we see at Glencoe? A big teddy bear. A big teddy bear? A big penguin. A big penguin? Yeah. You're joking. There's a baby one. And a little baby one. I hope we see something good. So yeah, I'm hoping we see some nice wildlife and nice landscape and get some nice pictures and stuff. It'll be lovely. Let's go. Where are we going, Ella? To shops. No, what did Daddy say? Yeah. The snowy mountains. No mountains. You are kidding me? Is that where we are going? Yeah. How exciting! Yeah. All the snows on my trousers. All the snows on your trousers, cause you've got big snowflakes on your leggings, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
What do you see? The tiger fish. Wow. Come and pick Nana, Nana be present. Mm. Yeah, look, come and see nice wee presents. Which one do you think Nana will like? Which one? This one. Which one? This one. Ah. That one. I think that wee one when it's jumping. She'll yeah. like that one. <laughs> hmm. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. Stop this fun. Gorgeous. Baby, 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 Oh, baby, baby, Yeah, you can throw them. Yeah. Hey, hold on, hey. Right here. You throw them. That's it. Well done. Yeah. 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 Oh, this little tree reminds me of the scene in Friends where Phoebe gets the little one that no one wants. How sad is that? It's got no friends. from Glencoe, take us a few hours so it's now really dark outside but we've stopped at Waitrose so we can get some dinner in. So we're going to go for dinner tonight but I think Ella's maybe had enough, Charlie's quite tired as well. <laughs> right on cue. I'm so we're going tired. to... I know you're not tired. So Fraser's going into Waitrose because he suggested just getting some nice soup and some nice warm fresh cooked bread and some butter and just having some soup and heating up because we get soaked in the rain as you can see. So we are going to go home, heat up, get the Christmas tree on and all the fairy lights and just feel really cosy and then when the kids go to bed we're going to have a movie night with the fire on. I hope he is quick in here because poor Charlie is devastated. <laughs> Fire and look down on the avenue 
I just love the way you carry the crown. It's just me and you tonight, and I'm all yours. We'll be in our happy place. This December will be the best, I'm pretty sure. And I am truly yours in every way. So hold me now, it's Christmas time. Bring joy to people in this town. In this way, we make the world go round. In December, I just let the peace take over. That is what I want. Just a few blocks from you now I wanna drive And the snow keeps falling now Let this Christmas be the best we've ever had Under a starlit sky We'll walk around It's just me Good morning guys, so it is Sunday and we had a bit of a live out on the bed this morning which was quite nice. The kids got up and just came into our room because we were still sleeping tranquilly. We were having a lovely sleep last night. Really enjoying using that mattress, that's been like our second night using it and the verdict is very comfortable. What I noticed most about it was it's not like a kind of squeak when you sit on the mattress. Sometimes when we come up to bed at night after the kids have gone to bed, normally the kind of rustle of the covers and then sitting on the mattress and the moving about can sometimes wake them up and stir them a little bit but that never happened last night which was really good. But yeah, today we are going to go across the silver burn because I need to pick up a few things like Christmassy bits and pieces. I'm almost done but I need to get a few bits and it's also our nephew's birthday and I need to get a card because I have lost the card, I don't know where to put it so I need to get that as well. And yeah, just going to go and have a wander and then come back and do the usual cleaning on a Sunday. And Ayla's got some lovely hair today. Wait till you see this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this hair. It is so gorgeous. We were practicing, weren't we, for mummy and daddy's wedding. Because I don't really know what I want to do with her hair. I think half up, half down is going to be the nicest. So it's nice and girly still. And maybe put like a little few sprigs of like, I don't know, like maybe wee flowers and things to it. Like chip and whatever. And what did you get yesterday? <laughs> What is that? Baby bug. Baby bug. Ella, what did you think about Mum's mattress? What do you think about Mum's new bed? I think it's nice. Do you? Was it nice and cozy? Were you going boingy, boingy, boing this morning on it? Yeah. yeah, up bright and early this morning, nice and ready. Hair wash, makeup on, ready to go. Charlie is having a sleep, so we're going to wait for him to wake up, and then me and the kids are going to head off and let Daddy have a day watching the football.
Did you hold that bag? Yummy. Come in. Oh, hello. Hey Hiya. Where's your biscuit? <gasps> oh, what is this? Say ta. Ta. Good boy. Well done. We are just home. Ella's up having a nap just now and Charlie has just woken up as well and it's getting very dark outside very quickly. It's only like half past three and it's so dark outside that Fraser's had a nice wee afternoon to himself watching football, haven't you? And now we are just going to get stuff ready. I've got a whole fresh order so that is just going to go in the fridge and we're just going to unpack some stuff. I also picked up a huge Christmas present for one of my nephews and also part of a birthday present for my other nephew so I'm feeling pretty organised. And yeah, just going to wait for Ella to wake up and then probably head to my mum's because that's where she goes on Sunday. She goes to stay over. So yeah, we successfully managed to get our shopping done and everything we needed to do and now we are just home chilling out for a while and getting tidied up and stuff and getting our stuff together for the rest of the week and then we are going to go over to mom's and drop Ella off. Charlie Reed. Oi. What are you doing? I have a pig. Is that me? Yes, please, I'll have a coffee. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Let's go and see the den. Whoa! Look at that den. Have you? Ella, you need to get in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Can't we come in too? Whoa, look at your kill cool day. Are we going to go home? Are we going to go home, okay? Ella, I love you. Ella. Ella. Love you so much. Ella. So we have dropped Ella at my mum's and I've just come home and I'm watching I'm a Celebrity because I'm trying to get into it this year. I normally watch it and I really like it because it's one of the first things that Fraser and I ever watched together when we first started going out when we were really young. So yeah, I'm going to watch that just now and then I am very tired so I'm going to go and dive into bed. Fraser's already in bed because he's working in the morning but I'm having a wee bit of chill time myself with a cup of tea, watching Emma Celeb and then I'm going to go to bed. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this weekend vlog. Please let me know what your favourite part was in the comments and I will see you next week. Bye!